fair. Arun Jaitley earlier was saying that in many ways these results had made him re-examine uh, many of his earlier understandings of how elections work in India. I couldn't get your question, please. Could you be louder, please? The, the question... The, the question really is, what would you say is the lesson? Would you say that this makes you re-look at how elections are run in India? Yes, yes, yes. It's time for the BJP to pull up the socks and, and, and introspect and also uh, at the same time admire the victories which we have had in Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh, which is a remarkable victory. And if, you, if I have to assess it, out, out of the three states in which we had the government, we have retain, been able to retain the government in two states and even Rajasthan for that matter, mean, we may not be in a position to form a government, but there is a hung assembly because even the Congress party does not have a majority. An overall performance is, 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 is average or satisfactory or you can call it good. And it would have been great if we would have won at least three states and uh, with a comfortable majority. And Delhi is of course a setback to the BJP because it's a, an, it's a victory for Sheila Dixit and we all appreciate this victory which, which has gone to her. But the fact remains that BJP is on the front foot despite its, uh, its setback as far as Rajasthan and Delhi is concerned because the overall aggregate uh, picture which has emerged is there is no such disappointment. But if whatever you call the losses as far as electoral losses are concerned, it's time to introspect and pull up our socks for the next Lok Sabha elections. And I think it, it's a timely warning which has come to us and it will help us. Right, Rudy, one of the... Uh, issues which I am fairly convinced about and it's in a very, uh, if you look at the data, but it really translates into, in a, into a simple stark reality that the two states that took, uh, went to vote after the terror attacks, BJP did badly in those states. You did well in the two states where the terror attack had no impact. Do you think some introspection needs to be done among the BJP of how you reacted and treated those terror attacks. Did you tend to politicize it and the people or the voters didn't like that? Any lessons to be learned from that? Yes, uh, we have to admit that BJP has been taking up the issue of terrorism and we have pointed it out. We have also charged the Congress party of not performing on the terror fund. And in this particular incident, which unfortunate incident which happened in Mumbai, thereafter we did say that, look, there is another failure for the Congress party. Possibly, uh, as we had assessed, it did not uh, really affect the people's mind, because in Delhi it did not affect. In Rajasthan, possibly it did or it did not, but we did not have an... But to just cast that, uh, that, uh, that assessment by saying that it is just this terror which was to be responsible for the outcome of the elections, because we had Chhattisgarh before that, and even Madhya Pradesh, it did not really matter. What we want to say here is, all these issues do matter, but there are regional issues, there are local issues, the selection of candidates, the selection of the geographical areas, the performance of the government, the incumbency factor, uh, the leadership issue, all this combined in the state bring out the results. And possibly that is the assessment which we may have gone wrong in Rajasthan, maybe a political management which went in wrong in Rajasthan, maybe a political management which we could not really understand in Delhi. So all these things do matter. But when it comes to the national level, I'm sure all these issues of terrorism, all these issues of inflation, all these do matter. And I think the spectrum and the right. parameters of political decisions which affect the voter in parliament elections would be certainly different from what we see in the state assembly elections. Right. Rajiv, Rajiv we, we have been talking all day long about perhaps this election showing that performance does count and, if, and you can be rewarded for good performance. We've also seen ever since the Mumbai terror attacks a lot of anger against politicians. Perhaps it's time for maybe the entire nation to also to think that your vote can make a difference, you can vote back people in who are good. And we've just seen the case of C.P. Joshi, for example, one single vote can make a difference. Yes, I think, uh, and, and, and there's a living example both in Delhi where the Sheila Dixit has won and there is work which has surpassed all our political assessment as far as uh, putting, our, uh, putting our strength in front of her. But in, 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 Rajas, in, in Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh, it is the performance of these two governments, whether it was Salva Judam or the performance on the ground level for Raman Singh, or for that matter, what Shivraj Singh did in the front of the social welfare or the schemes of roads and how, how he developed that state in three years. His, the, the, the face, he, the, com, the common man's face, which he represented in Madhya Pradesh, all this thing really worked. Even in, in for that matter, in Rajasthan, we believe that Vasundra Rajay had done reasonably well. It was a, it, 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 the development aspect was remarkable. But somehow we feel on political front we could not achieve. So this election primarily does reflect that development did play a very critical role. We saw the 
this happen in Delhi, we saw this happen in Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. We also saw that to happen to a great extent in Rajasthan.